Good morning, my special LHM tribe. Wow. Wednesdays, I'm usually so excited because I get to do MGM and then I do LHM. So, yeah, I do morning glory moments and shortly after, I minister. And I am excited. I am like, whatever is going on in my life, well, my time with God is so special and it just fills me up and it it just makes me feel like oh god has got my back all the time to the point when when sadness even wants to come like yesterday i lost my beloved cat zoe she'd been with me for less than three weeks um i quickly offered it to god and i was like i'm not even going to lie down i'm not going to cry i'm not going to you know i i, I mean the emotions came yes um i stopped but i prayed and i was like father god you know okay and i learned the lesson from zoe um don't be too attached so that you can easily detach and life is fleeting and all of those kind of things so i'm grateful that um this is another day that the lord has made and i've seen it and i rejoice not everybody sleeps at night and wakes up in the morning so while i am still here i better be using my time right in a fulfilling way in a peaceful way in a serene way and so yeah i want to start with this song i need to remind god all the time that i'm happy to just let him have his way in my life right you have a plan for everyone if i let you work you make a masterpiece of my life you have a plan for everyone if i let you walk you make a masterpiece but you want my yes moment by moment my yes to your creative love god you are our father to do your will is to fulfill our real selves last one help me to live your plan of love to say that my will is your will you have a plan for everyone if i let you walk you make a masterpiece of my life you have a plan for everyone if i let you walk you'll make a masterpiece yes if you let god walk he will make a masterpiece of your life Daniel let God walk and God made a masterpiece of Daniel's life. And so we continue to study the book of Daniel, his story, to glean what we can glean from it. Indeed, this is the series and we are already on the fifth part. Are you a Daniel in a den? That was the question. And in each part, we see something come out and we can think about this how it relates to our life, what we do when we find ourselves in this situation. We haven't even got into the real den part in the book of Daniel, but in each situation, we see how it was sort of a den because he was kind of caught up between a rock and a hard place. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar had this dream and King Nebuchadnezzar is like, I want someone to tell me the dream and tell me the interpretation. I don't want to tell you my dream. Then you go and start saying that the dream is that, the interpretation is that. No. In the beginning, they said there was nobody who could do that. And then Daniel heard and said, no, uh, don't say that. How can you say there's nobody? I, I, I think that if the king gives me some time, my God can, you know, my God will not even can and stop. And so Daniel asked for some time and the king gave him some time and Daniel uh, and told his brothers, and then they sought the face of the Lord. And now God revealed the dream to Daniel. 
And so Daniel is going to the king today to tell the king. Indeed, they took Daniel to the king in the last part. And Daniel told the king that um, he knew what the king's dream was and the interpretation. So we are reading today. We are continuing from verse 26 of the second chapter up to the 45th verse, which means that I will not read verse for verse. I would really encourage you, exhort you, um, motivate you to go and read it for yourselves, right? Okay, so the king declared to Daniel, whose name was Bethehaza. Bet, Bet, <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you able to make known to me the dream that I have seen and its interpretation? The king wants to be sure. They want to be sure. You know those people put you to the test? Can you tell me the dream and the interpretation? So you want the person who prophesies to tell you even the color of the dress you'll be wearing on that day and, and what you'll be eating and everything. The king wanted it. God put them to shame. Daniel answered the king and said, No wise men, enchanters, magicians, or astrologers can show to the king the mystery that the king has asked. But... And you know, but means you negate everything you said before. So Daniel wanted to start by showing to them what they had said before. You know, like, <laughs> they said no man can do that. Yes, no man can do that. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the later days. So Daniel is already hinting that the dream is about what will be in the later days. So the king is now interested. Your dream and the vision as you lay in bed as this. People can dream even while sitting and dozing. So how did Daniel know that the king was laid in bed when he had that dream? Anyway, to you, O king, as you lay in bed, came thoughts of what would be after this. Uh -huh. Because you know kings are always thinking in the future about their kingdom and all of that. And Nebuchadnezzar wanted to know that he was the king of the world and everything. So was probably thinking and then bam, a dream came. Okay. Oh. And he will reveal mysteries made known to you what is to be. But as for me, this mystery has been revealed to me, not because of any wisdom that I have more than all the living, but in order that the interpretation may be made known to the king and that you may know the thoughts of your mind. And Daniel is being very bold in saying all of this. We will see that it wasn't something very that was pleasing to the king, but ah, that's what God has put on my heart. That's what God has put on my heart. That's why I say, me, I'm just a messenger. Oh, please, don't come after me. Take the message. <laughs> There's an evangelist that I just watched now on YouTube, John Rami. I don't know the other name, John something. He used to be an ex-Satanist, and he, he, he doesn't joke. He doesn't care. Put whatever. It's like, he's, he's, he's no nonsense. So the evangelist is telling people as it is, you, whether you like it or not, oh, don't come after him. Get the message. Once uh, somebody asked me to pray for something, pray for someone. And the very first day I prayed, I saw that, hey, that person was going. I was like, hey, Papa God, oh, who sent me? Hey, God, you have to tell her. So she should better get ready instead of praying and crying and saying, he, he, he. Say, Father, give me the grace to go through all of this. And I, I, I told her, you know, I tried to be diplomatic and I was like, please don't pray for this person anymore. Pray for yourself and for the children. That was a very tough thing to do. But then I realized in Daniel that if you get that revelation, just go. Somebody comes to you and says, please go seek God on my behalf. Or when you see God, what God tells you, say it. If people want to throw stones at you, fine. Better human beings throw stones at me than for God to turn his face on me or turn his back on me. So Daniel tells the king, You saw, O king, and behold, a great image. This image, mighty and of exceeding brightness, stood before you, and its appearance was frightening. Hey, the head of this image was of fine gold, his chest and arms of silver, his middle and thighs of bronze, his leg of iron. Wow. It's fit partly of iron and partly of clay. Wow, this is already it. And he tells the king how a stone was cut out by no human hand and he struck the image on his feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces. Whoa. 
and the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold, all together were broken in pieces. Ah, that's destruction, eh? Like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. Wow. And the wind carried them away. Oh, my goodness. So that not a trace of them could be found. But the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Wow. This was the dream. Now we will tell the king his interpretation. And you see, the king is not saying nothing because the king is like, oh, yes, you really do have a God. This was really the dream. You, O king, the king of kings, to whom the God of heavens has given the kingdom, the power and the might and the glory, and into whose hands he has given wherever they dwell, the children of man, the beasts of the field, and the birds of heaven, making you rule over them. All you are the head of gold. Another kingdom inferior to you shall arise after you, and yet the third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over all the earth. Daniel wasn't scared to be telling the king all of this, and there shall even be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron. Wow! Because iron breaks to pieces and shatters all things. And like iron that crushes, it shall break and crush all these, including the king. And as you saw the feet and toes partly of the potter's clay and partly of iron, it shall be a divided kingdom. But some of the firmness of iron shall be in it, just as you saw iron mixed with the soft clay. Oh, oh my goodness. And he tells him what will happen to the feet. And he continues, even as you saw the iron mixed with soft clay, so they will mix with one another in marriage. My goodness. But the, it will not hold together. Just as iron does not mix with clay. Oh my goodness. And the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed. Nor shall the kingdom be left to another people. That is the kingdom of God. And so it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms, all those crazy kingdoms that you and all those kings have made. Um, and it shall stand forever. The kingdom of God shall stand forever. Just as you saw that a stone was cut from a mountain by no human hand, and that it broke in pieces, the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold. A great God has made known to the king what shall be after this. The dream is certain and its interpretation is sure. Amen. And we shall see that after Daniel did all of this, if I'm the one, I'll be shivering. Yet he was promoted. Oh, praise God. So this is where I stop for today. And um, yes. So you see, do not be afraid. He did not give us a spirit of fear now. He gave us a spirit of boldness, a spirit to say, Abba, Father. So what is there to be afraid of? What is there to be afraid of? When you go and seek God's face and he gives you a revelation, the dream and the revelation and the interpretation, say it. If they come after you, well, they came after all the apostles and the prophets and everything. Did that stop the message? Has that stopped the good news up to today? Today in the world, you have all kinds of schools of thoughts and all people and the deconstruction and the all kinds. I watch some things on YouTube. I'm like, God, help me. Why am I even watching these things? To learn so that I can teach. Father, please, must I watch this? Some of them, I'm like, Papa, no, I don't want to. Some of them, as soon as I start, I'm like, Father, I beg. I don't have that heart today. You know, some of them, I watch to the end so that I can also teach and encourage other people and stuff like that. What I get from this myself no more fear. Mark, if you have a message, deliver the message. If you get a vision, if you have a dream, it's not me, it's God, right? So if you don't like it, go to God, not me. Me, I'm just a messenger. May one, I beg. My time on earth is just as numbered as your own. So, oh yeah. Okay. Yes to you. I want to find you, yes to you, yes to day, yes to you, I want to save you, yes to you, yes to day, no more saying maybe, no more saying why me and all of those things, Father? Thank you for this awesome journey. All I just want to say is thank you, Lord. And I pray, Papa, that someone, someone listens to this word and that they help this person heal, set on their healing journey 
to find you, to make you the Lord of their life, their Savior. Oh, Papa, this is all I want to do with this ministry, point people to you. It's all about love and healing. That is what Jesus came to do. That is what he assures us in Matthew 11, 28 to 30, the cornerstone verse of this ministry. Come to me, all you are weary and heavy laden. Oh, you will labor and I will give you rest. The yoke of the Lord is light. Let nobody deceive you. Christianity is not burdensome. Christianity is not condemnation. It's not punishment and all of that. No. It's so lovely. It's so lovely. You can even be in a den, in a situation like Daniel, and yet the Lord will be with you. He says that I will not leave nor forsake you. I am with you for all times. Amen. He says, be bold and courageous. He says, fear not. He says, you are more than an overcomer. He says, oh my goodness, what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. He says, the power of life and death are in your tongue. He says, come to me. He says, oh my goodness, I am your father. You are my child. I love you, Father God. Even while we were still sinners, Jesus came to live and die for us. What else can we do, Papa, other than spread this message like this? And so I thank you for choosing me and for using me this way. And I give you all the glory. And I always invite the Holy Spirit to come and take total control. I commend all of this to you, Papa, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, this was it, tribe. You see, I love it when I come and sit out here at 5 a.m. And then morning meets me here. And stuff like that and I am like well this is a beautiful way to start my day and everything and I'm just so grateful for everything uh, ministration on Sunday and morning glory moment on Friday and this powerful teaching by my bishop endurance inspired by hope you are in ministry you just know that you have to endure and because there is the hope of the glory and God the fulfillment and everything so let's keep sharpening one another. Iron sharpens iron, right? Let's keep encouraging one another. Let's keep sowing seeds. There's so much chaos in the world. Let's also, you know, just keep sowing seeds, occupying territory for the Lord, talking about Him oh, la, 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 all over the place, you know. And of course, let us not only be uh, speakers of the word, talk, 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 talk. Let's be doers also. Amen. Have a wonderful Wednesday world. And um, yeah, morning glory moments on Friday, right? God bless us all.